All right, we're back, and we're now we're gonna begin Act Two. Now, Act Two, um, you don't actually do very much. It's basically a bunch of dialogue. The only thing you actually really do is take a water glass and something else, but we'll get to that later. Um, for now, mostly what you do is you eavesdrop on conversations, but I'm gonna do that later because first I want to um, talk to these people about various things because uh, after this act there are gonna be some people who you'll barely ever see again or who you won't ever see again for various reasons. So anyway, let's look at the party goers. This man looks like he's very low on mor moral fiber in his construction. His eyes dart around the room nervously, as if he's expecting someone to jump on him. His bald head reflects the overhead lightning. Well, it's Ziggy. Lighting. Huh? Lighting, not Did I light say lightning? Yes. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, yeah, like lightning. Um. Alright, so... Hey, Ziggy. Heard any good rumors lately? Maybe. Or maybe not. What's it worth to you? Well, I don't have any money right now. Then I ain't got no rumors for you, toots. You suck. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, but um, we're going to ask him a few questions anyway. So first, Dr. Arch Archibald Carrington. The new museum press? Stodgy old guy, but a fine chap. Yeah, that's it, a fine chap. Good man. All right, thanks. Um, how about Ryan O'Reilly? I tell ya, most of the cops around this town stink. But O'Reilly's different, he's okay. He really knows how to treat a mouthpiece, you know? I made some good jack working for him. Wow, last time we uh, asked him about Ryan O'Reilly, he said, um, I think he's a cop. Uh, I think he's a cop, I yeah. I think he's a cop. Okay, um, how about our dad, John Bow? Isn't that what they name the stiffs when they don't have an ID? I'm sorry, but I simply have to say that your pronunciation is dreadful. Hey, that's an insult, right? Har har har. Okay. Yeah, that was kind of unnecessary, but I just wanted to do that. How about the Countess? What makes you think I knows anything about a dame like her? She, she wouldn't even have anything to do with me. I mean, I don't know anything about her. Why ask me? That's odd. She seems to know you. Actually, that's not true. We have to talk to the Countess and then we'll say, that's odd she knows you, but I, I don't really feel like it right now. <laughs> she okay. did? What did she say? It ain't true. Listen, that old cow couldn't keep a secret if her life depended on it. I ain't taking the rap for her anyways. Now leave me alone before I call us the cops. Or somebody. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, one of the things about uh, this game is if someone starts acting suspiciously, like more suspicious than usual, then that usually means something. So the fact that Ziggy um, acts kind of weird about the Countess, that's actually kind of important, so just FYI. Alright, how about, um, Yvette, since everyone seems to know her so well? Nice working girl. I knew her when. Now, well, now she's a big hotshot museum, what do you call it? Back then she was a, a, a streetwalker, if you catch my drift. Oh, really? No, I wouldn't have known that. Okay, um... Now this is going to be kind of useful. How about the burglary? I know the dagger was heisted. I might even know who done it, but I ain't talking. Eh. If you know, why don't you go to the police? All I got is a suspicion. I got nothing hard. Besides, what have cops done for me lately? This is in the interests of justice. Who are you trying to protect? I'm trying to protect me. Now flip. Fine. Tell me about 1926 then. How is your year, Mr. Ziggy? Sepoib, simply sepoib. First I make the sawbuck on the Tony Dempsey match. Now I am rubbing elbow grease with the hoity-toity. Thanks for asking. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, now, who's this guy? We haven't seen him before. It looks like a tall man with a black mustache. Dr. Pippin Carter is a tall, dignified, middle-aged gentleman with a carefully trimmed mustache. Hello. This is quite a party. Does the museum always have a big fundraiser when they open a new exhibit, Dr. Carter? No, but they've never had such an important exhibit opening here before. And I'm an important curator with an important salary, so the museum wouldn't have been able to keep me employed here without financial assistance. You must be very important for the museum to go to, uh, to, go to so much trouble. 
Naturally, the museum is lucky that I accepted this position as the head of their new Egyptian Antiquities Department. Why, my name alone will attract more visitors and more money to the museum. Any chance that the Tutankhamun exhibit will stop here on its American tour? Um, do you remember who discovered Tutankhamun? Mm. It was somebody Carter, like, the, this This guy, Dr. Pippin Carter, is supposed to be like a relative of his. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. No, I'd hate to embarrass my relative by putting his Tutankhamun artifacts on display here. They pale by comparison to my own great discoveries, such as the dagger from Amon Ra. Of course. How silly of me to think otherwise. Yes, that was rather silly of you. Yeah. Great guy, this guy. He's a real character, yeah. Tell me about yourself. Oh, he'll love talking about himself. That's me, you silly girl. If you want to arrange an in-depth interview, we'll have to schedule it later in the week. Yep. Uh, how about Dr. Archibald Carrington? Hmm? Was Howard Carter in 1922? Ah, thank you, Howard Carter. Ah, Carter. excellent. Dr. Carrington is a fine chap. He used to be in charge of the British Museum, you know. I ran into him several years ago when I visited the British Museum to consult with Dr. Budge. Seems odd that Dr. Carrington doesn't remember me, but I almost didn't recognize him either. He's getting old after all. Looks different. Memory's probably shot as well. Is that so? Well, um... How about Detective Ryan O'Reilly? Ah yes, can't say I'm too impressed with Detective O'Reilly. Couldn't find a single bloody clue about the dagger burglary, and he has the nasty habit of chewing on grapes constantly. Probably to cover up the smell of the alcohol he drinks. Oh, so since he's an Irishman, he's a drunk. That's good to know. Exactly. Yes. Because all Irish people are, are slobbering drunks. Of course, of course, and they all have red hair, and they all say, Sure, and Begora. Oh, yes, of course. Um, statistics uh, actually second that. Who? Statistics. Statist oh, statistics. Okay. Everything I need to know about real life I learned from the dagger from Mon Ra. Yep. You will too. Oh, okay, uh, tell me about Dr. Olympia Miklos, which we haven't met yet, but we will soon. Whom we haven't met yet. Shut up. <laughs> Dr. Miklos is rather eccentric, but she's well-educated. Received her training at one of the better universities in Athens, Greece. She's considered quite knowledgeable in the area of hieroglyphics, but her specialty is paleontology. She's fond of old bones. Okay. She sounds like a very colorful character. That wouldn't be a double entendre there, would it? Oh, God. Let's hope not. Let's... Oh, my God, no. Let's hope not. Okay, forget I said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yvette Delacroix. That's gonna be even worse. That Trollop sleeps with everything that moves, and some things that don't. It's only by sheer strength of will that I've resisted her advances so far. Yeah, right, because he's such a noble man, he's resisted her advances through sheer force of will. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's great. Um, tell me about the burglary, since it was your dagger that was stolen. He must be very upset about the burglary. Quite so. If I ever find out who stole my dagger from Mon Ra, they won't live to regret it, I can assure you. Oh my, do you have any idea who would do such a thing? I have my suspicions, but I need more proof before I subject him to the full force of my wrath. Have the police learned anything? Those incompetents? Hardly. They couldn't even find any clues around the dagger display. I kind of agree with him that they're incompetent. Sounds like the burglar might have been a professional. Perhaps. It's more likely the local constable couldn't find a clue if it jumped up and bit him on the bum. Oh, okay. Um, okay, let's see. Tell me about Wolf Heimlich. Ah uh, yes, Heimlich's the security chief here. Not a particularly good one, obviously, since the dagger was stolen right from under his nose. And he's rather too intense for my tastes. That's right, because Carter's such a laid-back gentle guy. Yeah. But I, I've got to admit, Wolf likes pretty darn intense. In He's rather intense, yes. Uh, oh, Countess. I want to ask you about the Countess. The Countess was married to the former president of the Lion Decker Museum, Sterling Wal Waldorf Carl Carlton. A good chap, but uninspired. Now she has her sights set on Dr. Carrington. Hmm. All right, well... Uh, looks like we're running out of time, so I'm going to stop the video here and continue next time. See you, everyone.